How's it going, y'all? In this video, I want to talk about CapCut versus Final Cut Pro. Which one is better? Uh, CapCut recently has been taking over social media. You can literally see so many videos edited in CapCut, um, transitions, filters, effects, all that. And I recently have been using CapCut over Final Cut Pro. Not because CapCut is better than Final Cut Pro, not even close but because these are just tools and they're really good for specific things like final cut pro is still going to be my main video editor that's pretty much the tldr of the video i'm still going to be using final cut pro but to be honest for a bulk of my client work and my social media videos like reels tiktoks youtube shorts CapCut is pretty powerful. We're gonna get right into it in this video, so stay tuned. All right, so I wanted to start right away and get right into CapCut. So this is CapCut right here. And I have a video uh, already loaded up onto here. And it's a video from my podcast. So let's, uh, let's play it here. Right. Facing resistance, battling your demons. I was talking about uh, facing resistance uh, from the book, The War of art yeah the war of art so right here this is a horrible time to pause so i'm just gonna unpause it <laughs> you wait all right this is a lot better um so the thing that i really love about cap cut is that all of social media videos like reels TikTok, clips from podcasts they're great you can like upload a short clip of your podcast but the most powerful thing is People are consuming your podcasts. People are consuming your reels. And sometimes they're not in the best environment to like listen to them. So you could put captions. With CapCut, I can quite literally just do this. Select the clip, go to text, and hit auto captions. And it'll generate a caption for this clip. All right, so here we go. So right here, it generated... The, uh, the caption here, you'll notice like it does all the cuts and everything. What I wanna do is select the whole clip and we can choose the font or the effect of the caption. So we can pick something pretty, pretty schnazzy. Let's pick this yellow, yellow one here. So if we- play, Resistance. The text is that, but also we can, you know, we can make it a little bigger here too. We'll go to basic. You know, we could adjust the font size. You know, we can change the font as we wanted to as well. We can do a whole heap of things. And it does it really, really fast. So that's one thing that I love about CapCut. There's a few other things that I want to share, like CapCut has like effects. So, so we just pick the clip and we can go to effects. Here we go, effects. And we can like do some cool mundanity stuff like, of life. It's pretty gnarly. It's pretty dope. It's pretty, pretty nice. I really like it. Final Cut Pro does have, you know, some really cool effects, uh, presets and all the other cool stuff like that. But they don't have auto captions. Uh, you'd have to manually put the captions in. As of 2023, I don't think there's any other way to do auto captions on Final Cut Pro. Um, I could be wrong, but I use Final Cut Pro all the time to create reels for clients. I don't know of any. So if there is, comment down below. But I really love CapCut. CapCut is great. Uh, it works on Mac and it also works on your phone. And most creators have their phones with them all the time. So if you, if you can just create a quick reel on your phone, add captions to it right away. It's pretty dope. So this is... Final Cut Pro, it, it's kind of the same, but it has a whole heap of differences. You can do a hell of a lot more. Final Cut Pro just is a little bit more powerful than CapCut. Yeah, Final Cut Pro does not have auto captions. It doesn't have like a store where you can download memes. Like I'm not sure if I showed y'all this in the CapCut. CapCut has this uh, template store where they have memes you can download and like TikTok stuff, like videos that you can just like it's it's kind of really built for social media. Uh, I really, really like it. I mean, if I had like a meme account, I'd probably 
go to town. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people do the same thing. Uh, but hey, CapCut is here to stay. I, I believe that most creators are creating for social media, for meme pages, for comedy or entertainment. And Fonica Pro kind of leans itself more. It can do that, but it's really just meant for just baked, heavy uh, video editing, short films, documentaries, podcasts. Serious stuff. You can actually do a podcast in CapCut. The way that I would do a podcast in CapCut and the way that I have done it is do a split screen. Uh, this is how I would do a split screen podcast. Let's just say if I have two camera angles, one camera angle on one guest, guest will be at the top, the other camera angle will be at the bottom, and uh, you know, you can adjust how you want it to be. That's how I've been doing TikTok, uh, YouTube short podcast clips uh, for clients when it's, you know, for like a short form content. And then, you know, when they're when one subject is saying like one notable thing, you can split the screen and have them take over the whole thing. And then and you get back to how I was before, depending on uh, the point that they're making. But that's how I'll do it. It's pretty, it's pretty dope. That's probably the only way to do multicam podcast workflow in CapCut versus Final Cut, where you can actually cut between the different camera angles, like any traditional video that we've been seeing for eons. But CapCut is great, super powerful. I say use it. I use it for captions on the go, airdrop it to my phone and send it over to a client, post it on social media. And that's pretty much it. All in all, thank you for watching. Hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you learned anything, please comment down below and yeah, share this video with someone. I'll see y'all in the next one. Peace.